of them in quarters at 200,000 FDR dimes to the or Hey everyone, we're making a test call to Domino's, making sure everything works. There's usually an automated system that picks up. <laughs> Welcome <yet>. to Domino's! Good <laughs> Domino's, <laughs> uh, you? Hey, we're testing mics. Um, how do I sound? Huh? How do I sound? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right. Um, we have four people in the studio tonight, so we're going to go around the table. Chad, can you... What am I supposed to say? Just ask him how you sound. Hey, how do I sound? You like my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he didn't wow. hear you. Your mic must be defective. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say that to him. <laughs> I didn't hear his name. I can be funny. He's three years in. I've been doing this to them for a year. Sometimes they get pissed. <laughs> they're, they're like, you need to call someone else to do this. We're, we're not here to test your mic. <laughs> Are you busy tonight? <laughs> Some of them think it's funny, and some are annoyed by it. I always forget names, so I don't know who's who. Yeah, because there are some people that take their job at Domino's very seriously. Yeah, what are we going to do if they don't answer? Call different Domino's? <sighs> Can't break <laughs> tradition like that. No, mics won't work on other Domino's. <laughs> I know a Chinese restaurant in Portland that'll get really Let's upset. Let's just call my mom. Out. My mom's hilarious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we? No, we can't. I don't care. Okay, give, give me her number. I'm num- not going to test my mic, though. <laughs> you guys oh, no, we mic. have to test yours. Here, all right, we'll call my mom. Just use a crazy voice or something. Let's try it again. Like 15 listeners now, right? 17. Okay. Oh, it's going to be like midnight there. Man, what the fuck? We're, we're testing our mic, people, if you wonder what's going on. Making sure Skype works. Oh, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh. We always do this live. <laughs> it's hilarious. Skype. How does Skype work? Um, <laughs> fucking Skype? Fucking Skype. Fucking Skype. <laughs> How does that work? I, I'd, I'd tell you, but you know, I'd probably just be lying to you. And it's a fucking you, miracle. I'd get you pissed. <laughs> it's fucking scientists. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to call Jamie's mo- mother, area code 512-729-85. Oh, that's supposed to be 555. Five. <laughs> I'm not talking. Please don't. Oh, do just, <laughs> just no, no, it's midnight like there. Do a crazy voice. Oh. <laughs> do a, a Chad impression. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck. Where's she at? <laughs> Sarah Neko. She's there. on the East Coast. South. Southish. Little town called Squeamish. Gosh, she's just like Domino. <laughs> she's probably asleep. <laughs> does she have an answering machine? I, I don't know. I mean, this I is a, this like is a home phone? <laughs> is this a home phone? I don't know. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice no, message system. Media. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. This has to be done. <laughs> what if Skype people can't hear us? Okay, we're going to try Domino's once more. It's 9 o'clock. We're supposed to be doing the show. Are they still open? They're doing my phone back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Central? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would think they'd be open until midnight or something. I think they just see the caller ID 
you know, it comes up as zero 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 one two three. I need to spoof a spoof a call to him from a legit number. <laughs> Someone in the chat room, Alfredo says, "RBCP, you mentioned a tweet that tonight you will be talking about rainbows. Does that include <laughs> George Clinton's dreads?" I don't know. We'll see where it goes. All the toxic stuff in the ground that makes those rainbows. All right, we're going to find another thing to test with. Okay, um, Domino's wouldn't answer, so we're going to do our test call now. And this is Swordfish's grandma in Chicago. He probably gave me the police. So. <laughs> Station's number <laughs> NSA here. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, this is Brad um, from the phone show on Cacti Radio, and we're testing microphones. Do can you hear me? Okay. I'm not speaking English. I'm sorry. Oh wait. Well, don't hang up. Don't hang up. Um, you, you, can you uh, hi, can you hear me? What? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. How about me? Can you hear me? What do you want? What do you want we, now? We, we want to know if you can hear us. Don't, don't, don't yell and don't, don't be a jerk. I, I don't appreciate your attitude. What language do you speak? Polish. You, s- you seem to do... Be <laughs> You're doing English really well. I'm, I'm having a hard time believe, believing you at all. All right, she hung up. Now we can start the show. <laughs> I got to bust out my one word in Polish. <laughs> what does that mean? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> this is Electronics. Can I help you? Um, do you have season four of House, the TV show? And if you do, how right now? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that with your goddamn... You're listening to the soothing sounds, soothing sounds of the PLA, PLA, on the Cacti Radio Network. Telephone, 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 Cacti Radio, telephone, 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 fucking rainbow, telephone, 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 fucking magnets, telephone, 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 this shit will blow your motherfucking mind. <laughs> now we all have the giggles from, from our amazing intro. How do they work? <laughs> hey everyone, this is the phone show on Cacti Radio. I'm RBCP, and tonight we have in studio guests uh, Jammy. Hello. Uh, Kay Cochran. Yo. And they're the only ones that matter because they're PLA alumni, and then there's this other guy that none of us really care for too much. And Frank. His, na- his name's Chad. Frank. No, it's Chad. I'm Frank. <laughs> Turd Ferguson. That's funny. Um, you, you think with all these people in here, I would have planned something, but no. We're too busy drinking beer to come up with a plan for the show. Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we're taking calls. <laughs> the number is 505-796-4020 or phonelosers.org on Skype. Yeah, you're the ringmaster here, uh, Brad, so yeah, you got to lead us. If that's true, it's just going to be a bunch of awkward silence. <laughs> we're going to stare at each we, other. We could do that thing from Aliens. We could. That's good radio right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is going up over there. Oh, is yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. Sorry yeah, if yeah. mic levels are all fucked up, but, like, I don't know what I'm doing here. He's choking on a microphone. <laughs> Hello, caller. Hello? Hi. You're on Cacti Radio? Cacti Radio. Get it right or I'm hanging up on you. Okay, um, so... Is this like a comedy show, or is it entertainment for the whole entire prank calling thing? I guess it's a little of both. 
I, I don't put us in a category. Am I live on the air right now? Yes, you are. So you can. Just oh, please don't sorry. curse. Oh, oh, wait, because uh, I'm on a quick time play right now and it's not loading it up. It keeps going back and it says something about. Um, there's only 23 HXOORs are listening. You need so I don't know what that means. You need Linux to listen. You, you have to oh. have Linux. Do you have Linux? No, I actually have Windows and also have Mac, but it's in the shop. Oh, so. no, Mac doesn't work either. We're, oh. we're only Linux friendly, so. Wow, I guess all those people I texted and told to listen. <laughs> so <Oops. well. laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like you thanks for that, sir. Sure. Uh, you, you can get a Linux emulator, I think, for Windows. Have you ever prank called McDonald's? Never. But we will right now. <laughs> okay. Good idea. Thanks. Have fun not listening. <laughs> Jeez, now I gotta text everybody back. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> oh, you know I was kidding, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, anybody can listen. That guy just doesn't know what he's doing. We can talk <laughs> shit about him because he can't hear. <laughs> Hello, Matthew. Or Matt, I mean, sorry. What up? Hi, Matt. Hey. 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 You know, I say we bash that guy for not knowing what the hell the show was. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, why be a caller on the first show, on the first time you're listening? He needed exactly. tech support. I mean, why the hell even listen if you don't know what the hell the show's about? Well, I'm on the show and I didn't know what it was about before five minutes ago. <laughs> he so. believed the Linux stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, we're going to hang up on you, Matt, and play music and maybe we'll talk about something. Fuck PL- you too. PLA-ish. Yeah, fuck you too. They'll let anybody on the show. <laughs> Bell control to lineman bomb. Bell control to lineman bomb. Fucking magnets, how do they work? And I don't wanna talk to a scientist. Y'all motherfuckers lying and getting me pissed. Solar eclipse and vicious weather. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, we had to skip around there because Jamie missed the part about magnets, and that's hilarious to her <laughs> because she thinks internet memes from two or three months ago are great because this is the first time she's ever heard it. Well, it yesterday. Yeah. Oh, my God, I was on the floor. It was sad. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yesterday, Jamie first heard Miracle. She's more out of touch with internet pop culture than she is with PLA, apparently. Oh, I don't go on the forums. <laughs> what I caught it. What is PLA? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Why are these handcuffs on me? <laughs> so, Chad, PLA is Phone Losers of America, which is a website on the internet. Is that where everybody's on right now listening to us? Um, they're, most of them are on cactiradio.com, oh. but which is sort of, you know, just another website related to PLA. What's a website? No. Website, well, website is. <laughs> you, you need Linux with links. It's fucking magic. <laughs> it's magic. It comes in on a rainbow. I would. I would tell you, but it'd just get you pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Scientist. All right. So. Well, uh, so nobody's calling, so we're just gonna sit here and talk. What? And and. How did the PLA get started? And uh, who? <laughs> why? Why? Um, why, Brad? Yeah. Um, what was your motivation? I, I'm looking at the list of questions I typed up for him to ask. And okay, it <laughs> says here. <laughs> <that> <laughs> um, I don't know. I was thinking we should talk about PLA origins of Jamie and Kay Cochran because they've been around forever. They're really old. Oh, thanks. And yeah, especially Jamie. My ovaries are shriveling. <laughs> and and if you want us to stop talking about PLA, you're gonna have to call in and and like you know get a sidetracked on something else. But Jamie. Hey. Um, how do I ask this? <laughs> what, what, what have you been wanting to ask me? Okay, well, I, I think I know some of this. I, I, I'm not really clear on it, but you, you started Pound Rock, which is a famous PLA channel. I that didn't, I, I, I was one of the original people that started it, but I didn't actually start it myself. I was actually on, uh, the, the person who started it, uh, was, his nick was Kay Cobain. K 
KC, yeah. Yeah, KC. Because, uh, yeah. And was that Velocity? Uh, well, that's Velocity. Okay. Um, he was 12 at the time, and he was... You guys know more about all this than I do, because yeah. I, I don't even know these people. So he went on to Pound Teen, and yes, I was on Pound Teen, but I was 15 at the time. It was, you know, it was 95, you can do the math. And uh, so he went, he's like... You're like 50 now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like... Hey, I want to start a rock channel. Who, who, who's with me? So uh, I, I was like, sure. Okay, Cobain. I'll follow Kurt Cobain. Hell yeah. I was 15. Uh, so uh, I went into Pound Rock, and there was one other guy there named Zinsless One. Are you buying this unknown caller? What? Unknown no caller? Anyway, are you buying this story of Jamie's? I don't buy it for a second. I think she's just uh, one of these, what do you call them, machine whores. Oh, that's Legend. Do you know who Legend is, Kate Cochran? <laughs> Do you know who Legend is, Jamie? I don't think Hi, I, Jamie. I know of Legend. Hi, Jamie. Le- Hi. Leg- Legend knows who Jamie is, though, right? Yeah. yeah. He's he's been around for. No, I know of Legend. I don't know that I've ever actually spoken to Everybody Legend. Everybody knows Hi. of Legends. No, no, no. I'm the quiet one. I'm getting quieter though. He's driving a taxi around right now. He has like five phone lines in his no, car and right internet and. No, IRC. no. I've got my blood filled with radioactive dye at the moment. That Yay. that makes sense. Yeah, that's right. I've got uh, Madam Curry. Uh, oh my God, who cares? We want to talk to Jamie. So, <laughs> so, so, so. Uh, oh. Uh, what, what? oh no, I'm I'm sorry, but like when I hang up on someone, I have to do this. Oh, but you guys can't hear it. There, there. you go. I'm sorry, I interrupted you, Jamie. That's okay. So, uh, so yeah, the other person on the channel was Zensless, and he actually was friends uh, in Illinois with these guys, uh, El Jefe and Apocalypse. And one day, Zenzlis got bored, and we had a really nice rock channel going. We used to talk about music all the time and just kind of BS. Mm-hmm. And uh, a few months into that, uh, all of a sudden, Zenzlis got really bored and gave ops to El Jefe. And they took over the channel. They de-opted all of us, and I was really upset. What was so, El Jefe doing in there? Like, he was just there harassing people? Oh, yeah. He was just in there, like, you know, saying really mean things to me and see, saying really mean things to other people. Uh, some of the other rock people tried moving to another channel, and... It, it, it was just ugly, but I stayed there. I, st- I, I stood my ground and said, you guys are terrible. And uh, eventually, at three in the morning, on one night, uh, Apocalypse is like, hey, I'm bored. Uh, I want to call you. And I was like, I've heard of you phone people. I'm not going to give you my phone number. Yeah. So he's like, like, That's back when like you didn't have warnings about the internet and yeah. <laughs> not to talk to strangers. And- so he's like, I'll give you my phone number. And I was like, all right. And sure enough, you know, we had a nice hour-long conversation. And then uh, El Jefe did the exact same thing. Uh, Zach uh, did the exact same thing. Just kind of got bored at 1 in the morning. It was like, hey, call me. <laughs> were, were they somehow grabbing your phone number when you No, no. You they, they, they actually taught me how to, how to star 6-7 it. <laughs> <laughs> They're ah. like, if you do that, I won't actually get your phone number. And I was like, hmm, okay. And uh, then all of a sudden, they were like, all right, you're pretty cool. And I got ops, and... Mm. And then all of a sudden it became the PLA channel. And that's how I met Kay Cochran, and that's how I met RBCP. And yep. Yep, so like for the first, I don't know, 10 years of PLA on the internet, we were pound rock, not pound phone losers, where everyone is right now. Yeah, and all those original rock people, I'm actually still in touch with a bunch of them, and they, they hate you guys. They still to this day have like bitter hatred. Those guys that stole our channel, we had such a nice channel going. God, why are you still friends with those guys? Those guys are assholes. Another cool thing about pound rock that we've mentioned on this show before that but Spessa, she got into the PLA because she went into Pound Rock to fuck with people that were, were into rock music. And <laughs> it, was, it wasn't people that like rock music, it was the PLA. And so she thought we were more funny, or, you know, funnier than she was. So she started hanging out with us and harassing other channels with us. Yeah, I don't remember Spessa. I guess she must have been on Delnet. I didn't, yeah, I don't know. I didn't see her a lot until the whole Boulder the News Unrock. Forum thing happened. Hmm? Delnet, the Unrock. Yes, Delnet. Well, I, yeah, well, there was Pound Rock on Dalnet well, and Pound Rock F-Net. started on Fnet. Yeah, I know that. And uh, and then Dalnet became the cool place to be. Well, Dalnet Rock actually originally wasn't the cool place to be. No, because that's a uh, Logic Box and Spee and Dark Cactus started Dalnet Rock, and before <laughs> Thank before you. they were uh, you know the cool in crowd, they they created their own little Dalnet Rock because they had the uh, Chan Op or the the Chan Serve and Nick Serve over there, so. You can go in and steal Logic Box's nickname, which uh, was a pretty popular thing to do. And yeah, they started that there, and they brought in some people, and eventually. Uh, well, I start. I moved to Dalnet once Evil Cal started going on Dalnet because Cal was a lot of fun. Yeah, 
And I, you know, I eventually moved over to Dalnet myself uh, later on after the, uh, I think a lot of the 303 crowd yeah. started coming into rock and just being in general. Hey, WebDog, WebDog from Pound Phone Losers just asked, what's the Pound Rock key? So I tried to go to Pound Rock and there's a key. You can't get in. Oh, wow. I have no idea. <laughs> what is it, Jamie? I haven't been on Pound Rock in years. I, I think, uh, I, think I, 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 I discovered boys around uh, 98, <laughs> and uh, that was when I s- lost interest in IRC. Yeah, they came <clears throat> a long time ago, if it's even the same people. Yeah, we got, we got taken over a few years in, and after that, I, I, I lost interest. I mean, all the really cool people were already gone by then, or I was already dating them, so... <laughs> I see. That was an interesting story, and I believe most of it. I'm really surprised we are, we are not getting callers at all, so I'm assuming people are just interested in what you have to say. Well, I can talk about the first time I met you. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> so I'd been on Pound Rock for about a year and a half, and my dad uh, realized that uh, instead of fighting me on being on the computer for hours and hours and hours a day and not having any sort of real social life, that he should kind of support me. So uh, we went on the Jammy uh, domestic IRC tour of 97. I was 17 at the time. Lived in in New York. I lived in New York City. And uh, my first stop was in uh, Salina, Ohio to meet RBCP and Colleen Card. I thought you met Spee before me. No, I met Spee way at the end. He was was the last stop on my trip. You were the first, the very first stop. So me and my dad knocked on RBCP's door. Yep. And I'm sure I was really awkward and You were very awkward and very, very quiet. <laughs> Much like I am right now. I was I was pretty surprised because I was like, Oh, fun losers of America. This guy must be like crazy. But he's got like He's gonna offer us drugs. I know. I was like, I don't know if I should bring my dad here because I don't know if you guys know. I mean my dad's uh he, he And we lived in like this little suburban town yeah. with a baby and <laughs> Yeah, I mean we played very with the tame. baby the whole time pretty much. Um yep. yeah, and my dad's a former cop, NYPD, so uh <laughs> So, so I, I was I was expecting bad things when we showed up, but it, it was actually, it was awkward, but it was pleasant. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Matt's calling again. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey. Um, since when did we turn into NPR? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to hear, Matt? That, that's that's the reason. That's the talking. reason you need to call is to sidetrack us from this boring shit. Thanks. No, no, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I hear any damn thing. so you, don't, you don't like our content tonight? Dude. It, it's, not, it's not every day I have PLA <laughs> alumni in my room. You know. Called Mildred or Richard Cotto. Somebody. Damn. Ah. Uh, leave those people alone. I heard Mildred Monday was dead. You ever track down Larry? Um, Larry? sort of. Matt, do you know who Big Larry is? No. You don't spend enough time on my website. Talk about Big Larry. I don't I actually don't on your remember. Webs- I haven't been on your website in months. Well, still, I mean, Big Larry's been up there for over 10 years, so you should know who he is. Not longer than that. 15. 15 years. K. Cochran claims, and he knows my website's Damn. better than me. Well, Big I'm Larry was uh, in some of the original zines and stuff. Yeah, I think so. You need to stop listening right now and go read old PLA issues. I command you. Just call somebody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, we got a number to call. All right, post it in the chat room. Or, I mean, I like, like message it, it to me in the chat room. And we're going to take a break now and play music and I'm stuff. And then, and then we'll have, you know, boring stories of Kay Cochran's. Oh, wait, did you finish your story about I Speed? So. You know, well, I mean, I could talk about Speed. I could talk about my tour, but I don't think well, anybody... Let's talk really about how you died in LOL a bunch. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> Fucking miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. This shit'll blow your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. So, so Kay Cochran. You know, I was gonna play music and and spare Matt from our boring bullshit, but um. Yeah. For for some reason, all the good content comes on whenever there's a song on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we'll just leave the music playing while we talk in the background. But, uh, but yeah, we were talking about Spee, and Kay Cochran said... <laughs> yeah, well, we were just kind of going into the history of Spee, and uh, we've been seeing a lot in the news and whatnot of kids that are... Well, okay, the thing is, people. wait, we, we don't, like, I'm pretty sure nobody knows who Spee is. And he's, he he worked with um, Logic Box, sort of, 
on the System Failure magazine, you know, well, back in the, the late 90s. the founders of the, the Dollnet Rock. Oh, okay. He was. Oh, that's right. I, yeah. I forgot about that. You Spanish guys Prince, but uh, he went by Speed. Towards SP. The end. Yeah, and S, S underscore P. And SPE. He was cool. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah. So, so why is he important? Well, okay, <laughs> Speed died um, probably about 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. Uh, he and his mom and his brother got in a car wreck, and I know that he... Past, uh, I don't know if mom and brother as well. I believe mom and brother are okay. okay. You can learn about Speed by going to foamlosers.org slash RIP. Um, Speed created a website, registered domain called RaymondSucks.org, and set up a website about Raymond, his band teacher, and proceeded to, you know, had a picture of him from the yearbook and talked about how much Ray sucked and, you know, basically what a douche the band teacher was. And the school had suspended him pending an expulsion and were trying to get him to take down the website. His dad was... Dad seemed pretty loaded. His had the ability to get hilarious. a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. And they got a really good lawyer, and they sued the school district basically on the grounds of it. This was his First Amendment rights. It wasn't done in, on school time or on school computers. It was completely outside of school, and the school can't control his speech outside of the school. School argued that it was disrespectful to the teacher, but a judge argued that it wasn't. So... He if, got a pretty awesome lawsuit, or he got a pretty awesome settlement out of the deal. Bought himself a Passat, which he was big in a VW Passat. I think hey, the Ray license plate was Ray Sucks as well. He drove to school. I, I can't remember um, why I did this, but you know the domain he had was RaymondSucks.org. Yeah. And like a year or two ago, I registered it, and it, it forwards to his uh, his memorial oh, page. Oh, nice. that's so nice of you. <laughs> very cool. So awesome. go to RaymondSucks.org. <laughs> so yeah, uh, he got a, he got a pretty big settlement. Uh, Dad made him put most of it away in a, uh, a trust or whatever to pay for college. I, I think he ended whatnot. up getting like ten fifteen grand out of that. Yeah, uh, well he got oh, he it. got a fair amount more than that because really? he, he got enough to buy his passat. I thought it was okay. like forty thousand or yeah. something. Oh, maybe and then they put the rest away for school. And you were saying something about uh, kids. Yeah, I, I've, I've just seen several several deals on either the local news or in, in the national newspaper stuff uh, that. Kids have been getting booted from school, uh, you know, suspended and whatnot for doing similar things. Talking smack on Facebook. There was actually something in the uh, local paper here in town where this uh, girl posted a terroristic threat about another student. And she's been suspended from school. She's supposed to have an escort at school all times. Can't talk to this other student. And the, the schools are, are doing a lot of this stuff as far as the suspensions and the, the school punishment for stuff that is happening outside of school. It just it's, it's very, very similar to what's happened in the past. And you'd think they'd refer back to the Speed case, because that's yeah. the original. I mean, you, you think the parents of, of the... Yeah, that was years ago. That was like in the late 90s. Yeah. you think the parents of the students in this case that were the ones making the threats or whatever would be familiar, or, or their lawyers would be, and you think the schools would get the idea that they can't be suspending people for what happens outside of school, but... Then again, that's... But no! Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was gonna. I was telling a funny story earlier too. I met Speed once, also on my uh, '97 Jammy tour, uh, and I let Speed know about three weeks or two weeks beforehand. Hey, I'm coming to visit. And he's like, "Oh yeah, that's cool. It'd be great to meet you. It'd be awesome." So driving in with my dad, he lived in Cleveland at the time, um, and I called him, and we were gonna show up around 9:30. And about half an hour before we showed up, he's like, "I guess I should let my dad know." And we're like, oh, crap, you're kidding. You didn't tell your dad? So we show up, and his dad is pissed. And my dad, my dad, smooth operator, he's like, I'll handle this. Cracks open a beer with the dad who was loaded. And uh, I just ended up hanging out with Speed for like an hour. We just, I think we just played around on, uh, on a webcam mm-hmm. and on IRC, and then, and then I, I bounced. But his dad was so pissed. He must have been grounded forever for that. Like, like, Because it was basically, you're having internet people show up to my house at 9.30 at night on a school night? Are you out of your mind? Who are these crazy people showing up to our apartment? <laughs> Thankfully, I was, I'm pretty normal, and dad's, dad's NYPD, so you know. Oh, the other guy was asking about Big Larry. Oh, somebody just asked about him? Yeah, we well, talking about him? I, I don't know. Like he was asking about him, and I found I found a clip of Big Larry. Right on. I'm gonna play it. Do it. Watch this. Watch it. Just watch. I'll tell you what, though. Saturday night. Uh, see, no, I don't think that's the right one. <laughs> How's that yeah. work? Yeah, just keep talking because uh, there we go. You know, some little, some little asshole punk, son of a bitch. Named Alex. Alex is me, by the way. Alex. That was my name 15 years ago. Yeah, I know. I got a recording of it. Yeah, right. Okay. 
so, and I'm sure, I, I'm really quite sure, okay? I mean, I'm really quite sure right now, at this point in time, that uh, the little punk motherfucker is listening in on this conversation. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> you were recording it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, you, you were asking me about him and if I ever tracked him down, and I actually did track him down like three years ago, just to see where he was, and he's still here in Albany. And I missed him by a couple months. He had just left a place and left a really large electric bill uh, unpaid there. And <laughs> I, I'm going to check it out again and see if I can find him, because I'd love to get a picture of him or a phone number and talk to him again. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, I'll walk up and knock yeah. on the door and snap a picture. <laughs> that'd be great. We could go together. <laughs> yeah. Teamwork. Wait, so why is he big, Larry? Uh, I just called him that, cause because he talks he's a big. big guy. Yeah. But he lived uh, in a house with us, and me and him didn't get along, and I used to fuck with him a lot, and... It's a hard thing to explain, but I was listening to his phones. I was interfering with his his phone calls to taxi cabs and stuff. And he he was always drunk and he's hilarious. You even went to the point of like dropping a speaker down. Yeah, I dropped walls or something. Yeah, I dropped a speaker down an air duct and and it was in his wall and I would blast music at him and I couldn't even hear it in my room. See, that's what makes you great. Is 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 because you'll you know you'll take that idea. You take it that step further. <laughs> yep, yep. I should have gotten killed for all the stuff I did to Larry. Because <laughs> he was crazy and drunk and didn't have anything to lose. Yeah. 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 Awkward silence. No, no awkward silence. <laughs> I want to know how... This is Chad speaking, by the way. He's yes. He knows very little about PLA. Chad's he's, one he's of the things we need We don't really Chad hate to Chad. Do Chad's awesome. Yeah, to read the old PLA zines. And I'll hook you up with that. Yeah, because that that goes a long ways to not only explain. You need a to lot read PLA also, the book. Don't you want to understand, Brian? Uh, <laughs> about <laughs> ten years ago, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> about ten years ago, Cochran explained all the stuff to me and how the dynamics <laughs> work. <In> rainbows. <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to see Jamie crack up when I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chad. But yeah, I I I had a I had a tutorial on how it worked, and then what was it? Seven years ago. Uh, was O two, so that was what eight years, eight years ago. ago. Eight years ago, we went out to New York, and I met Jamie. And well, yeah, what, what happened? That was what? You, you met Jamie eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you do have roots, sort of. Yeah, we went out there on well, the anniversary, one year anniversary of nine eleven. Because damn, those were cheap flights. Yeah, we flew in. <laughs> oh, that's that's when you did the um, the clerks tour, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I we saw did pictures the of that. tour and stuff. Uh, Hey, I am friendly to all PLA people that come to New York, even though I don't live in New York anymore. But if, if it, you want to visit it, uh, any PLA, now. any PLA people in the Los Angeles area want to visit Jamie, you know, just look her up on Facebook, and I she'll, she'll invite right. you into her home, and you can spend the night, live there, pretty much. And <laughs> that was actually supposed to be. It was less the Clerks tour. We did that because we were there, but it was actually supposed to be a lot of the Pound Rock tour, and by association, the uh, Pound Cousin Ed. Yeah, and tour. and he explained a lot of this again. Then, you know, I'd already been explained a few years before that who everybody was, but I didn't have any faces yeah. to put to why anything. Why are we meeting some random chick in New York, and why is she nice to us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was good. We did, was the, we did New York City in 12 hours. I had it all planned out. It was mm-hmm. ridiculous. Oh, and it I was awesome. I a Fort Taurus. Ah, oh yeah, yeah I remember yeah. hearing about that. We drove it back and made it good time. My New York it's tour took two like two weeks. And I broke it a week <laughs> after we got I it. Like you, I like you more. Oh, okay. That was an awesome trip. Went out there, got the car, drove it all the way back, and then burnt up the clutch about a week and a half after I got it, and then it sat. <laughs> but hey, it got us all cheaper than air bread. Yeah, and fast, too. Oh, you just left San Francisco? You could have visited me. She's referring to uh, chat room people. I know. I don't know what the fuck Jamie's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> she just has these episodes where she... Random I do. Tourette syndrome. I, I am on beer three. Let me just uh, throw that out there for those of you that know. So... Back to explaining a little bit about, you know, I don't know. So, so, so you're like that first guy who didn't know how to even get on the P, uh, onto VLA radio. That's no, how. I'm like I grew up without a TV. That's how bad I was. <laughs> Free, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so this whole, you know, the beginnings of the internet was like this mythical thing. Do you even know what RFC is? I knew. Um, Were you on RFC? Because of. Cochran. I no, I wasn't. I I found out about it about the time uh, you know Google was created. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Cochran, how did you get onto Pound Rock and get into all this PLA stuff? Because you kind of, I mean, you're a big fan. I mean, I'm, I, I just kind of got in there by association just because they took over my channel. And I mean, and I was a happy-go-lucky Pearl Jam fan. Yeah. That, that's how I got sucked <laughs> into this. And you were in there before me, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I actually, my first experience with the PLA was when uh, a certain somebody took over the overhead of the uh, local Fred Meyer. And I happened to be working at uh, Burger King inside the Fred Meyer at the time. And got to watch people run around because there was a bunch of nastiness going on on the. Overhead. That's awesome. Was yeah. that like ninety six then? Right around then, yeah. Oh, okay. And so I, I heard you that probably told me this. I have horrible memory, but yeah. I, I didn't know that that you were around. Yeah, when I, that was, I was in the store and uh, was wandering around and, and whatnot and heard it hilarious stuff going on. Wait, wait, wait. So what mm. happened? Can you remember what we said? No, oh, Jimmy, not you, at you all. know what we're talking about. So this is when you guys, when you and Colleen took over the over the the speakers and Fred Meyer. Yeah, we could call in from our homes on the telephone and get on the overhead paging system, stay on there as long as we want, say anything we want, and they couldn't turn what's, us off or down. Once you to the overhead, you're just in. Yeah, <laughs> they have to shut off the whole system to get you. I out. think they have to shut off the whole store or something because they never shut us down, <laughs> not once. Fucking so overhead speakers. How does that work? <laughs> Yeah, so I heard that um, at this point in time, didn't know anything about the PLA, but then just a uh, matter of coincidence, ended up on a uh, local BBS. Uh, forget the name, it was the uh, weird uh, Discordian hacker board. Yeah, it's board hard to remember that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I guess you had been on there, you had uploaded a bunch of the zines, mm -hmm. and I read them and thought it was kind of cool, and shortly thereafter, I think you had moved to Salina. Okay. Uh, you had bailed Albany. And <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Um, I can't see why. <laughs> but yeah, uh, read through the zines, thought they were hilarious. Uh, there was a couple missing, and it looked like there were going to be more, and I wanted to find them, and you know, this is, well, crap, this is before the internet had pictures, even. Do you happen to yeah. remember what we said on the overhead paging system? I, I don't remember a lot of it. Um, I know that at one point in time you would, uh, I, and I think I had heard part of this, but I could be mistaken, because I know you, you detailed a lot of it in one of the zines, but mm -hmm. um, the where you had called up, I think, Beaverton. Uh huh. Um, oh, and interviewed security. Yeah. You, well, you called up Beaverton, got on their overhead, then called Albany up and interviewed their security. Oh, <laughs> and the interview with security was going over the paging system. Everyone was hearing it. I, I said I was with uh, the Oregonian, probably. Yeah. And yeah, at the end of the call, you let them know that. Oh, by the way, we're being broadcast over the Beaverton Fred Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> Dead silence, and you click, and it's like, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the caliber of people you have working here. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, read through the zines and couldn't find any more and decided it would be kind of cool to see if I could figure out where everything went. And uh, eventually my, you know, searching led to Pound Rock and as was the norm, anybody joining Pound Rock pretty much got band kicked or something. Yeah, pretty much. And I think I had, I had messaged El Jefe or something, you know, kind of a, a what the fuck and was told to uh, bail or, or to uh, leave everybody alone unless I could prove I was cool. <laughs> and uh, this sounds like what apparently happened on the PLA forums a year or two ago. Yeah, I didn't even know about this that you got kicked off. But yeah, I, probably I, Murdoch. I was being a jerk or something. <laughs> yeah, um, prove you're cool right now. <laughs> Otherwise, you got to leave, leave the but, broadcast. Uh, one, one of the things uh, was the uh, Brian Crescente art, uh, article in the, mm -hmm. one of the PLA zines. And interestingly enough, Crescente did an internship at the local newspaper here in Albany. So nobody knows what you're talking about. It's an uh, old PLA issue. Um, PLA was actually. In a, a newspaper in Illinois, you know, front page Sunday paper, two weeks in a row about how horrible we were. You know, we're a big terrorist group on the new internet, and right. he's the reporter that did the article. So Brian Crescente. Yeah, um, that's right. You were taking over one of the WIV boards or something there, weren't you? Yeah, we were doing all kinds Scott of crazy something. stuff. Yeah, um, Scott the Believer. That's right, Scott the Believer. Yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Crescente was Crescente had done an internship locally, and uh, I had talked to him on a couple of things. We had a uh, one of uh, the dudes I went to high school with, uh, right when the school got the local email, or got the email system, uh, thought it would be funny to send email to president at whitehouse.gov talking about uh, the sniper that shot at the gates, or shot from the gates was a idiot, and we're going to put a bomb on Air Force One, and <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was actually fun, because I got to experience the uh, FBI and the Secret Service coming to my high school, and oh, God. <laughs> interviewing a bunch of people. My name got dropped because I was one of the uh, the awesome elite student admins for the system, <laughs> so I got to talk about John the Mad Bomber, and Crescente called me up because uh, I counted his cans at Albertsons or something one night, so, in, you know, 
BSing with him, called me up to get details from me about what was going on because the school was all no comment. They wouldn't let the reporters anywhere, you know, actually on the school grounds. Hey, That's so can- bizarre that Crescente at- ended up in the town I lived in. Just yeah. a completely and random town in the country. You. <laughs> yeah, and now he's in Denver or something, right? Where El Jefe currently lives? I don't know if he's in Denver or not. Um, I know he was at some point. Yeah, he he did go to Denver. He went to Fort Worth or something. That's actually where I tracked him down with the uh, Pound Rock stuff. And uh, I actually I just called up the uh, newspaper he was working for. They gave me his personal number. I called him up, and I think it was like 11 o'clock at night his time. And so then I pretty much just immediately dumped his docs to uh, El Jefe and APOC, and yeah. they called him up and verified, and they're like, okay, you can... Come into the chat room now. I called him up. I called up Crescente. Um, <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I, I called up Crescente did, when, before he did the first article on the PLA because he said he wanted to get in touch with us for an interview, and he started asking me a question, and I interrupted him with like, "No comment." You know, just screaming as loud as I could, and I slammed down the phone. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, he uh, really wanted to be a tech reporter. I know he talked to a couple of the local BBS sysops. Um, Really, actually, the I have a pretty one. interesting history with the sysop here in Albany, but I can't uh. really talk about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten pretty interesting lately, though. Nice. But I can't say why. <laughs> How does that make you feel? I don't know if I can even... <laughs> I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'll just shut up. I actually don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Really? Maybe we'll take this off there. I should know. All right, let's, let's take a break. <laughs> oh, I think now's a good time for some music. Time for secrets. <laughs> Didn't we just hear this song, like, <laughs> right before the show started? <laughs> so, Kay Cochran, um, I, I remember something about Jim Bayless. Like, Jim Bayless is another character from the PLA. He, he was a real person, but, like, he was out to get me, and I was excited to have a phone company security guy out to get me. It was really awesome. I actually don't know the story with Jim Bayless. I mean, as much as involved with the PLA as I am, oh, sorry, as much as involved with the PLA as I am, I don't actually, I didn't read any of the zines. Yeah. I didn't. Jim Bayless was a uh, Meritech corporate security. And he was uh, part of their, uh, what, fraud division or something? Mm-hmm. And I, I think it started when I was just harassing somebody in Ameritech territory, and then I was hacking voicemails and making them harass, um, automating their harassment process with yeah. voicemails, because <laughs> I didn't want to spend all my time harassing this guy. Yeah, I think yeah. Bayless was the uh, first person that either answered my call or returned my call when I started calling up num- various numbers I found <laughs> in the PLA zines, and I'm like, trying yeah. to figure out what's going on, and... And that I, too, and it's just like, hey, call Jim Bayless. I called Jim <laughs> Bayless up and was like, yeah, I'm trying to track him down too because I called him one, up once something. from uh, from downtown um, Cincinnati from a payphone and um, talked to him for a little bit, and and he did this weird thing where I, I I knew he was doing something to trace me or something, which that sounds paranoid, but like you know, weird clicking, and he, he's like, hold on one minute, I got to do something, <laughs> and. Uh, I left, because yeah, I was getting a little... I, I know that's stupid, but... Anyway, like, the next time I called him, which was from a cell phone <laughs> uh, that I that had stolen service on it, uh, he, he's like, so you're not in Ohio anymore? Because, you know, I traced your call last time, and you are in Ohio at, at so-and-so at a bank. I was at a bank payphone. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, very insistent that your real name was Alex Carbone. Alex Carbon. Carbon. Like carbon Carbone. paper. Well, the, the, the other Carbone. guy, the other guy, the, the real Alex... Uh-huh. Apparently is Carbone or oh I didn't know that like that uh, I took the name Carbon because I lived in, I worked and lived or I just worked in a town called Glen Carbon okay and um, I needed a social security number that said Glen Carbon and the closest I could find was Alex Carbon right on he was an old man on social security yes he was <laughs> um, but yeah uh, Bayless was really convinced that was your real name but that's because um, he went to my work uh, in, in Indianapolis where I worked at a movie theater. And I think he got a cop. You might have told me this. He got a copy of my, what do you call those? Ten ninety nines, W two. Oh, your W two or W four or something. Yeah, like that. He, yeah, he got a copy of that, and you know, had a fake name on it that I worked under. Nice, Glenn Glenn Alexander Carbon. Nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's who Jim Bayless is, and I, n- I never finalized things with him. I should call him see how he <laughs> see how he's doing. Yeah, and I didn't meet you. Until just a few years ago. Well, what did you do about like you called Jim Bayless and what were you what were you accomplishing by? Like, um, I, I, I was trying to get information out of him, just see if he had any info, 
figure out what was going on because a lot of the stuff you didn't actually say in any of the zines that you were local mm-hmm. at the time, but a lot of the stuff you you said in the zines from you know being living in Albany, yeah, made it look like yeah, okay, you know this guy has either been here or you know you you referenced uh, Colleen was up in Portland, yeah, okay. on some of the stuff, and and there was a lot of just little bits and pieces that really pointed to Albany, and I just want to see if this really friggin' hilarious guy was still <laughs> in the Albany area or whatever because. You know, hey, I mean, oh, shucks. Well, th- this was also too. You know, this was back in the day when you know, right prior to hackers coming out, and even when hackers came out, everybody still came tossing out? around elite and stuff like that. Hackers, the movie. The movie. Oh, was okay. released I was in like, theaters. I didn't know they were, they were <laughs> gay hackers. hackers had to come out. <laughs> yeah, mom, yeah. dad. So I'm a yeah. hacker. I'm, I'm a hacker. hacker. <laughs> but yeah, um, w- was just trying to find any information I could about uh, this stuff and. He, like I said, he answered the phone and talked to me. Yeah, for I guess a while in '96, I didn't really have much of a homepage or anything that that where I just went no, on and on about my life. Yeah, <laughs> PhoneLosers.org didn't come out until '97, I think. Yeah, late '97 maybe. Yeah, I started. I, I only got stuff off of IRC where people would send me files. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered I'm supposed to be over here making special effects. Oh yeah, you're the sound effect guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you hey, need to fart really loud for us. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> you're, did, you're fired. When did you two meet for the first time? <laughs> it, was, it was before you came uh, over here. Wait, what? I'm when you and I met when you guys met. I mean, did you stalk him, or how did that work out? I didn't really stalk him. <laughs> you um, <laughs> stalked him. <Technically. laughs> early, I mean, I, I did talk to you on IRC or something mm-hmm. once or twice, and yeah. you guys were living in Ohio at the time. Um, had actually figured out that uh, Colleen's sister was working at the uh, local theater, and... Uh, was, you know, too shy to even go talk to her because, hey, then, oh, this is a real person now. But um, ended up actually meeting uh, Colleen and uh, her sister. And then, uh, yeah, Emily was like a year or so old. Yeah. I think she, Colleen was a visit mom. So uh, yep. they came over and picked me up, and I went over to uh, the mom's house and hung out there for a couple hours and wow. BS with them and stuff. And yeah. They let you in? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's ten o'clock, so let's just turn it off and leave. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, do you have anything else interesting to say? I'm assuming that the listeners love what they're hearing because you know people aren't dropping off and nobody's making phone calls. You know, like you yeah, should. You call. call us at five zero five seven nine six four zero two zero. I know people have called and I just hang yeah. up on them and call them retarded. Uh, you know, for but for those of you on the PLA forums, I, I I did used to have one of the most popular forums on the PLA called Ask Jammy, which is basically what number in popularity was it like? Seven or eight, or it, it, was it, it higher? I, I think it was higher, actually. Yeah, you, I remember you were really proud I, of it. I think it was, it was, it was. I think like number three or something like that. Because I had a lot of responses for a while. I mean, it's basically you know an, an advice a, column. It was. It was. It was. Ask Jamie. It was. Uh, now it's ask somebody. Ask anybody. I ask think anybody is what I renamed it lame. since you disappeared and abandoned us. Well, I had reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So you know, I mean, we'll uh, we'll talk to anybody. Yeah, five zero five seven nine six four zero two zero. Not Matt. And Not Matt. Fuck Matt. Yeah, Matt's already called him twice. Forget that guy. Yeah, we hate you, Matt. He doesn't he's like listening to us talk anyway. So he probably disconnected. Legend, I might talk if you call again. He's a hater. He's just jealous. <laughs> I learned that from Maury. Anytime somebody says shit about you, just say you just jealous. <laughs> yeah, so um, we can call Logic Box. We should call Logic Box. Yeah. Do we have his number? I don't have his number. Uh, Come on. Uh, Let's let's play some music. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta think about it. (laughs) So you're on the air. You're on the air now, Andrew. (laughs) Um, Put it in. This is Rush. Oh, hey, Rush. Uh, Like Rush Pones, blah, blah, something. No, oh, no, this is, the, this is the band. The band Rush? The band Rush is calling us? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You I don't w- sound like Rush. I like your music. Getty Lee hates illegal immig- immigrants. Uh, I heard Getty Rush Lee. talking about that shit. Uh, so when you say... You, like talk radio? When you say you are Rush... Rush. Are so you high? Can, are, you, are you a Rush? <laughs> are you having a Rush currently? If you know, like, 
Are you Russian? Hey, shut <laughs> shut <laughs> up. She, he knows how to talk to women. <laughs> Way to go, Andrew. I like you. <laughs> Are we dating? <laughs> <laughs> if you understand, like, you know, like the Christian trinity, it's kind of like that. Oh, you're cutting out a little. I mean, you're fading out. Oh, he's getting all religious on us. Ooh. I'm starting to not like Andrew. I'm sorry. He's talking about religion. Ask PLA questions. Uh, okay, so... Oh, wait. Uh, I have to turn off the fucking... Yeah, turn um, off the fucking. Turn off the fucking. Start the Russian. He's Russian? I thought he was a band. Clear, Jack, clearly, you weren't listening. Oh, okay, wait. Just okay. I'm not enjoying this phone call at wow. all. I feel like he's like masturbating. Yeah, that's 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 like, I'm almost hold on. <laughs> Two minutes and thirty seconds, man. Come on, what's up? I think he's prank calling. <laughs> Are we getting pranked? Yeah. We're gonna report you, man. Okay. Okay. I'm over it. Yeah. It has not been brought in. Uh, during the break, I, we were like supposed to think of topics or something and maybe go just a little bit longer since there's actually PLA alumni in the studio, but I don't um, know. Do we think of anything else? The only topic no, I, I had was another red light. I've called in before, so I don't really know. Yeah, you happened. suck, Andrew. We hate you. Deep, deep hatred. Do you like chocolate? But, but thanks for listening. By the way, uh, the show sucks. Yeah. We get that a lot. I don't understand why. Yeah, let's hang up. <laughs> Bye, Andrew. I'm over it. <laughs> Fuck you, Andrew. <laughs> Jeez. Can somebody interesting call? I guess we should have specified that. Yeah. If I'm slurring a little bit, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> so, I mean, I thought I was being quiet, but Andrew was, like, <laughs> quieter than me, and he called to talk. You know, maybe he didn't call to talk. <laughs> maybe he just called to... Say, he just liked uh, hearing our soothing voices. Uh, I think he was doing a mic check. Uh, That's what it was. I bet you that was Domino's calling us. <laughs> oh, so he works at Domino's. Oh, we should call that lady that I thought was Kay Cochran yesterday. Yeah, give her a call. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You're like, what the fuck are you doing Hi. with my phone number, bitch? Hi. How are you? Great. We're great. Who are you? I heard that you were taking a shit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you guys did go in the air. No, <laughs> we didn't go on the air. No, I, I think you uh, didn't mute right before quick enough. Oh, <laughs> before you said you were getting up to do that. <laughs> really, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, RBCP's turning red. I, 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 He's like, oh I, my god, I do poop. <laughs> I've made the microphone uh, mistake quite a few times. I, once me and Spessa were doing very personal things together, and that went out over the air. <laughs> Now, was it a wet shit? <laughs> it, it wasn't a shit. It was a number one. I saved my shits till after the show. I'm disappointed. Oh, so I'm sorry to disappoint you. You're into you that about thing, the number huh? one? What color was it? Was it clear? It, it, no, it was yellowish. Clearish yellow. It looked like Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> Strangely enough, I didn't get that at all. So, when... Uh, so, you, you've never called here before, have you? I called okay. two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Because, okay. I mean, I, I see you have a Florida number, but I uh, the only person from Florida I know is Legend and, and Jen. And Jamie's mom. And, J- yeah, Jamie's yeah. mom. <laughs> well, uh, well you know, finally, he was compelled enough. You were taking a shit the free motorcycle. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I do remember that call. Yeah. Y- usually, um, people, listeners, I'm saying this to Chad. Because um, Chad's a moron and doesn't know anything yes. about anything. But listeners, oh, it didn't happen tonight, I don't understand why, but listeners always set up Craigslist ads and put my phone number on it, so people are calling in about free things that they want. Oh, nice. Sweet. So, that's always Yeah, that fun. didn't really happen, that's, and I did it. No, it always happens, too. This is, like, the first time in a long time that's it hasn't. because I'm here. Yeah, thanks a lot that's, for jinxing the whole yeah, fucking okay. show, Chad. Sorry. I'll let me go. Bye. <laughs> I wasn't convincing enough. I'll just sit here and... Do you have, have another beer? <laughs> Cheers. Caller, do you have questions about the PLA or Kay Cochran <laughs> or Jamie since they're here and they'll probably never be here again? No, I just wanted to hear about this shit. Oh. I, and I heard it was number one, so I'm kind of disappointed. Oh. So now I have nothing to talk about because I was planning on talking about number two. Quick, Brad, go take a shit. <laughs> okay, BRB. <laughs> <laughs> call, call back soon. <laughs> Bye-bye. 
He got out of bye bye before you hung up. Yeah. Wow. He ruined it. <laughs> I, we're not going off there quite yet. Probably soon, though. But Once these beers are done. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> that's not allowed here. That's, that's a rule. Effect. I need to post that. Oh, that yeah. That's a sound effect. I'm, that's my job, right? You thought he'd give it to him one day early. The little guy loved it. It didn't seem like much to him. We're making a prank call. Shh. WCF, mate. You remember that? <laughs> Hello. 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 Who's this? We're Brad. All, all four of us. Brad. Yeah. Where do you get the phone number? Um. Oh. Is this your T-Mobile phone? Hold on. Oh, just a minute. The TV's on. I'm okay, sorry. hurry the hell up. Um, somebody called and, and left a message about a broker or something. A broker? Uh-huh. Cut that and out. She left a really long message. Uh, are you in Lebanon? I'm in Lebanon. I'm in Lebanon. Yeah, me too. It's weird. It's like we're brothers. You know, both being in Lebanon and everything. So they left a broker message? Um, yeah. Um, I called you today and left a message, right? Yeah. One. Yeah, it was It was very, like, you were such a bitch in that message, and I'm offended, and I don't appreciate it one bit. Okay. Then there's no reason for us to talk anymore. Well, maybe... What about me? Can I talk? Okay, I'll be quiet, and my friend here will talk. Where did you get this number? Who gave it to you? Did we lose her? Oh, oh she, she, she hung up. We could call her back. I want my number back. I, I try not to uh, call locally too much like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not local. It's in Lebanon. No, that's <coughs> true. But, you know, Lebanon. It's a whole other country. A bunch of terrorists there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call people in Arizona and ask them if they have their ID. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Him. Hello, this is not the person you were trying to call. You've reached the rejection hotline provided by rejectionhotline.com. Unfortunately, the person who gave you this rejection hotline. I get this all the time <laughs> when I go to bars. Number. We know this sucks, but don't be too devastated. So why were you given a rejection hotline number? Maybe you're just not this person's type. No, this could mean boring, dumb, annoying, arrogant, or just a general. This is Chad's leader. contribution to the, the show. Bad breath, a body order, or a nasty combination of the two. Maybe you just give off that creepy, overbearing, psycho stalker vibe, and the idea of going out with you just seems as appealing as playing leapfrog. So Chad. <laughs> So when do you have this number, Chad? Next on the phone show, Chad's going to watch YouTube videos and describe them for everybody. If, <laughs> if you look on Chad's phone, that number like is under the name Lisa. Like yeah. he thought a girl gave it to him. <laughs> Actually, it was six different girls, same number. I thought I hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, well. It's like a sorority, and they all want to thank you. <laughs> so before the show ends, like, do you have any more questions about the PLA, Chad? Like, ask, ask some noob questions. Noob questions? you're a noob, and... Yeah. Um, <laughs> why PLA? Why the name? Fo- oh, Fo- Losers Losers of America? America. Yeah. Um, the like one of our founding people, uh, Zach slash El Jefe. Uh, he just came up with the name at random because he says lots of weird, silly things like that. And He's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. He and I just stole it from him, and and you know turned it into my uh, uh, text file things. And where can we hear these text file things now? I mean, <laughs> you can hear them at <laughs> www.phonelosers.org slash issue. Issue. Yes. Okay. And those are isu- those are issues of of the the PLA zine, which you can hear. Okay. Yeah. Get that dude from Masterpiece Theater or whatever OPB to read those. Yeah, that would be Audio awesome. Of them. That would make a lot of sense <laughs> since we turned into NPR. Yeah. <laughs> How to hack. <laughs> so is there any new content for uh, that sort of thing? Or yeah, yeah, this is it. Oh, like this, this is it. <laughs> cut, cut, cut that out, Kate Harkin. <laughs> Kate Harkin's fucking with our audio. Fucking with my headphones, yo. Um, okay, I'm sorry, what was that question? <laughs> like new content, new uh, how-tos on uh, messing with 
fucking wires. You know, uh, um, I, I stuff. Yeah, there, that, there's a little bit of that, not a whole lot. I mean, the phone show is the thing that gets updated the most. Right. Because um, I remember, like, when I was first getting introduced to who you were and whatnot before I ever had an idea of who you were, I'd heard some, you know, wave files. Oh, yeah. Of, oh, that's all in the past. Know, I'm only funny, like, a long things. time ago. That's okay. true. Uh, no, there is a lot of new stuff, a lot of <laughs> new calls like that. Um. Yeah, yeah. I just put up some stuff at phonelosers.org slash fitness, which I haven't. Fitness? Yeah. Um, uh, it's, uh, Have you uh, met the rest phone of the phone? It's a gym. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> has a gym. No, no, no. No, it's what it is. It's the phone, it's the PLA, I forget what Workouts. I called it, but, but yeah, it's. Mike said, have you met the rest of the PLA? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's where, um, we worked at a, um, let's say a Gold's Gym, and we took calls for people. And I talked to customers, and none of them were very happy with what we had to say. Oh. <laughs> so. You should play one of those calls. Uh, I don't think I can. Well, maybe I can. I could try. I didn't hear any of them. It's along the lines of your uh, internet tech support company. Phonelosers.org slash fitness. Oh, no, 404 error. Yeah. <laughs> no, I swear it's there. All fitness. right. Maybe it's uh, Jim. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Yeah, Ro- Ro- Roy, Ger- Roy Gerbil's Athletic Club. <laughs> um, these are going to be long. This is here. Let, let's see what this one has to say. To pay over the phone for a forty-four dollar a month membership. Um, technically speaking, there's only a five dollar fee to, to make payment arrangements via the telephone. But okay. then there's a forty-five dollar fee for being a stupid bitch. This is Mr. Spessa. I need to speak with your manager. Oh. um... Okay. Uh, sorry. Is, I don't know how long this is. But see, yeah, that was funny. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, he transfers to me and I'm the manager. And I'm like, well, don't be such a stupid bitch then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the latest thing on Phone Losers, I think. But I haven't actually published it yet. So it's phonelosers.org slash Jim. G-Y-M. As opposed to J-I-M. Yes. Don't go right, there. Dumb phone losers don't go there. there. <laughs> yes. I, I wish you hadn't given that URL out over the air. There's stuff there that doesn't need to be seen. Uh oh. go. Sorry. Yeah. Now everybody's heading there. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you don't have a delay set up to where you could uh bleep that. Yeah. <laughs> so um I'm gonna play the end of the show music. Okay. Oh. See you well, since gone nobody and ruined wants it to for call. everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm really disappointed in the amount of calls. I even gave the phone number to my uh son who's ten years old downstairs and uh, he said it, he promised he would call, and then he didn't. Yeah, I gave it to my boyfriend, who uh, I thought cared. Yeah, thanks a lot, boyfriend. So it would have been extra sucky tonight if I didn't ac- actually have people in the studio. So you guys should be thankful for Kay Cochran and Jamie and Chad. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so end of the show. <laughs> yeah. Right. Later, folks. Uh, last week's show is up on cactiradio.com slash phone show. If you want to listen to last week's, I haven't put it into the queue on on the station yet. Yeah. Hey, it's Andrew again. <laughs> hey, hey, Andrew, you do you want to say goodbye to the people? Uh, it's technical issues. Yeah, yeah, I do want to say goodbye. Um, I want to say goodbye to this cruel world. Goodbye. Speak up, we can't hear you. You're fading out. I think that's his point. <laughs> <The cruel world. laughs> See, Andrew told you he was hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> we'll miss you, Andrew. Bye. You were a good caller, and and you know we have good memories. But you were the best. Yeah. Bye forever, Andrew. Bye. <laughs> Run water in the tub first. It feels better. Warm water, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So thanks everyone for listening. Thanks, Kay Cochran and Jemmy and Chad for being here. Thank oh, you. Get Thank the, you. The computer duster. Oh, yeah, we're going to get out some computer duster, and we're going to inhale it and get high. So <laughs> Computer duster? 30% <laughs> of Is that like whippets? No, I showed it to Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're, we're off to do that now. Bye, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Wow. 30% new of us every day. will not be here next week. <laughs>